Guys, we have a quick update for you. We will go over the current light curve of Tabby Star using both David Lane's and Bruce Gary's latest measurements, and we will show you that it seems that we are entering back into the long-term dimming trend that we were in prior to the brightening event. So this V-band light curve serves as our historical 25 months reference of the 20 data point simple moving average of Tabby Star's flux. And the best fit profile of this curve is essentially the one shown in dark blue. Further breaking down this into its two elemental curves, the first one is the accelerating long-term dimming curve, and the second one is the Gaussian shaped brightening and then dimming curve. We only received one V-band measurement from David Lane this week due to, to continued inclement weather in Nova Scotia. So we incorporated that one data point into the light curve, but we will again use Bruce Gary's G-band measurements to take a closer look at this Gaussian shaped part of the light curve profile shown in the red box. Hopefully the weather will break in Nova Scotia, Canada soon, since the longer we don't receive V-band measurement updates, the more gaps and distortion the 20 data point simple moving average curve will get. And by the way, Bruce Gary's viewing window of Tabby Star has been reduced further to only approximately two hours each night at his location in Arizona. So we are hoping to get the new V-band data flowing soon. So let's now zoom in to the brightening curve. This is the status of the 20 data point simple moving average of Bruce Gary's G-band measurements that we showed you last week. And the light blue circles are his measurements and the connected darker circles with the red borders form the 20 data point simple moving average curve. So let's move forward in time to the present date by adding Bruce Gary's latest G-band measurements and also advancing the 20 data point simple moving average curve. And the best fit curve for this is shown in dark blue. As predicted, we are completing the right side of the Gaussian shape curve. And notice the two measurements circled in red. They are at approximately the same level we were at prior to the brightening event. And also notice today's measurement circled in red, which is substantially even below that flux level. So Bruce Gary's last measurement is now at an all time low and is approximately 0.49% below the flux level prior to the start of the brightening event. So the 20 data point simple moving average is a great way to track the long term trend of Tabby Star. So if we use the 20 data point simple moving average as the nominal flux line, we can construct the following G band normalized flux light curve. Notice on the left side of the curve, we were experiencing the brightening event. And on the right side, we are dimming super fast and are down by approximately 1.0% below nominal flux. We believe and maintain that once the cause of the brightening has fully moved on, whatever it was, then the flux level of Tabby Star should revert back to the long-term dimming curve profile as we discussed in our last video. If this was the brightening before a dimming event, then this will be a significant dimming event coming up. So that is all we have for you today. Hopefully we will have some very interesting dimming action in the next few weeks. So take care guys, and we will see you in our next update.